These are the tips you absolutely must know when you're using the search filters in Modash. I'm Avery, I'm the founder, and as mentioned before in this series, Modash contains every in social media influencer on earth. But sometimes that means there's a lot going on in discovery, so you need to know exactly how to use the filters so they're not so intimidating. This video is six super fast tips. Tip number one, avoid using filters that mean similar things. For example, if you have the bio filter set up, looking for yoga influencers, so influencers who have put the word yoga in their bio. It might not be necessary to also add the interest filter that has health and fitness as an interest category. These redundancies in your search filters can sometimes artificially narrow the results because of the way that the model works that runs the search. So if you're trying to use the search to narrow your results in a very certain way, try to only use one filter at a time to do that. Tip number two, filters are and when compared between one another, but or when they're in the same dropdown. So for example, when we have the influencer location as say Canada, and we have the follower range, then it's gonna apply both of those filters separately to your search results, narrowing them to match both of those criteria. However, if you put influencer location Canada as well as a filter for influencer location Estonia, it's gonna show you results in search that match either one of those. So and between one another and or inside of the dropdown. The third tip is a workflow called layering. What you wanna do is add two or three of the most important filters and run your search. Then add one more filter and run your search and keep an eye on how many results you're getting. If you're getting tons of results, then you can feel comfortable going back and adding one more search filter. But be careful, adding too many is gonna artificially restrict your search and you're gonna miss out on influencers who could be perfect to work with. Don't worry, your plan comes with plenty of searches and this process is gonna help you learn and understand how the search filters work together to get you the best possible results. The influencers are all in there, so it's up to you to become a pro in these filters and up to me, obviously, to help you get there. Tip number four. The at handle search, the username search is really great for finding influencers when you already have their Instagram, TikTok, or YouTube link or handle. But if you have a long list of them, it's much more efficient to use the import button. So on the list page, there's an import button where you can import any CSV with a list of creators. So for example, if you have local teams in your company who are sending you tons of creators all the time, you can easily import them rather than searching one by one. Or maybe you have tons of inbound to the social media or customer support team of influencers who wanna work with you. Instead of going one by one and checking those on an ad hoc basis, you could once a week or once a month upload a whole CSV file and save yourself a ton of time. Number five, the sort by filter. The sort by filter is great for lots of reasons, but one of the coolest ones is it lets you organize the list of search results based on the filter that's most important to you, and it'll put that metric right on the search result to keep you from having to click through a lot of summaries. So for example, we could put a sort by filter for New York City, and now we can see which influencer has the highest percentage of followers in New York City, even if we add tons of other filters. Bonus tip about sort by, if you sort by the engagements, it can often push branded accounts outside of the search. Unfortunately, us brands are still struggling with organic social, I guess. Haha, <laughs> nerd joke. Number six is to watch the rest of the videos in this series. Thank you so much for taking the time. Lookalikes, filters, pro tips and tricks and hidden secret features. So much stuff coming in the other videos and they're only a couple minutes long each. I highly recommend you take a peek and don't forget to contact us anytime you need some help. Ciao.